It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it is our list of the coolest personal aerial vehicles of 2020. For this list, we are counting down the most promising personal aerial vehicles that might actually make it to the market soon. First up, we have the Ehong 184. This stylish one passenger drone has been in development for a few years now and could be the first AAV or autonomous aerial vehicle that actually could take to the skies in 2021. The 184 can carry a maximum weight of 100 kilograms or just over 220 pounds and reach heights of over 11,000 feet above sea level. Ehong claims the 184 can fly for around 25 minutes and hit speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. On May 27th, 2020, Ehong gained the world's first approval for commercial flights of passenger grade AAVs from the Civil Aviation Administration in China, which means the 184 may be buzzing overhead sooner than you think. Next up, the Lilium Jet. Now in terms of style points, I think that the Lilium Jet is onto a real winner here. The company claims that this is the next step in personal aviation and aims to be the Uber of the skies. The Lilium Jet is fitted with 36 all-electric engines that actually help it take off the ground vertically. Once airborne, Lilium says that the jet can reach speeds of around 300 kilometers per hour and a range of 300 kilometers, claiming it could make a trip from New York to Boston in an hour. This is a five-seater vehicle, four passengers and a pilot, and because it's purely electric, it's significantly quieter than choppers and planes. Lilian hopes to have its jets up and running by 2025, and I for one cannot wait to see these bad boys out in a while. Next, we have the Blackfly from Opener. This is an intriguing PAV. It has a very unique shape. It's like a capsule eye in the sky. It has eight rotors for either end of the craft, and they are all powered by the onboard battery, giving it a range of about 25 miles. While it is quick, Opener says US regulations limit the Blackfly speed to around 62 kilometers per hour. You would not need a pilot's license to operate the Blackfly, making it a whole lot more accessible. It doesn't have wheels, however, which means you'll be towing this bad boy wherever you want to take it. The plus side is that it takes off vertically, so there are no need for long runways. The Blackfly is still taking off the ground, in a commercial sense, but the creator ensures that it will likely cost the price of an SUV. Pretty vague when you consider an SUV can range anywhere from 17k all the way up to 700k, but it's still one of the more affordable vehicles on this list. Okay, this is pretty cool. Maybe not the way I would design a flying car, but happy it exists all the same. This is the Aeromobile, and it has the ability to go from two-seater car to plane in a matter of seconds. On the road, the company says it can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour and double that in the air. Now, this model known as the 3.0 has since been replaced by the Aeromobile 4.0, and I have to say it has come on a lot stylistically and also in terms of performance. The 4.0 is said to reach 270 kilometers per hour in the air and about 100 miles per hour on the ground. It also has quite good range at 700 kilometers. According to the company, the Aeromobile 4.0 is ready for pre-order. At up to $1.6 million, you might think it's a bit pricey, but maybe less so if you think of it as buying two vehicles in one. I mean, how much do planes go for these days anyway? In keeping with the whole flying car theme, we have the PAL V. This flying car is no stranger to the CNET channel and has been covered a few times, but we still love a lot of what it has to offer. Like the Aeromobile, it transforms from car to aerial vehicle, but significantly it chooses a more helicopter style approach compared to the plane style of the Aeromobile. On the ground, the PAL-V can really shift. The company claims that it can hit speeds of 100 kilometers per hour, and in the sky, its 195 brake horsepower engine can get it up to 112 miles per hour. The PAL-V comes in two models, both available for pre-order. There's the Liberty that comes in at around $400,000 and the Pioneer that comes in at $600,000. Now that's just for the vehicle as the PAL-V does require a pilot's license to operate. Yep, nobody said innovation was gonna be cheap. Now, if you're looking for a more hands-on, thrill-seeking way to enjoy personal aviation, then look no further than those brainiacs at Gravity Industries. They've created a jet suit that conjures strong superhero vibes. The Gravity Jet Suit has five jet turbines, two in each arm unit that help stabilize and steer the pilot and one big jet in the back for added thrust and propulsion. Later additions include a Ram Air leg wing and ankle fins for greater stability. 
The Jetsu can hit speeds of over 130 kilometers per hour and has 1,050 brake horsepower with 104 kilos of thrust. The Gravity Jetsu is available for purchase at $443,000, but it won't be a case of buy and fly. Gravity will give training in how to pilot the Jetsu as long as you sign a waiver absolving them from any fatalities. Now, this next entry is more just a shout out or honorable mention, as I don't believe there are any plans for this thing to be put in the hands of consumers anytime soon. It's the Jetwing. These things are insane. With two huge turbines on either side, the Jetwing really shifts. It has a max speed of 407 kilometers per hour while spanning a range of 50 kilometers. But when this thing decides to ascend, it can climb up to 6,100 meters. For the ultimate adrenaline rush, I don't think you can do much better than this. What an age we live in, huh? But what do you guys think? If money was no issue, which one of these machines would you be taking home? I'm gonna try and leave a poll down below to get some votes and you guys can cast your votes and decide which ones you think are your personal favorites. Let us know down in the comments, leave a like, and thanks for watching.